Hi, good to have you back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add new client side views to your Vaadin application. So let's jump right in. Up until now, we've only been working within this one view, the demo view, but now I want to add a new view to our application. So let's go into our source here and into the views folder. I'm going to create a new folder for our view. Let's call this other and in here, create a new file, other view.ts. And here you want to have the file name be equal to the tag name that you're creating for this. So in our case, we're using other view. So in our component here, we're going to export a class other view. We're going to extend from lit element and make sure that we import that. And then we're going to define the tag name. And again, that's what we want to have equal to here. So we add a custom element decorator, make sure that that gets imported. And then we define this other view tag name. You got to make sure that you have a dash in the tag name that's required by the web components spec. All right, so let me make this a little bit smaller and then we'll go in here and implement this. The only thing I'm going to implement here is the uh, render method. In the render method, we need to return an HTML block. And you want to make sure that that gets imported from lit element. In here, all we're going to do is add an h1 tag. I'm another view like that. And then we need to define the routing for this. So for that, we're going to jump on over to our index.ts file and look at the other routes that we have here. So we have an array of routes. We can actually make this more explicit by defining that this is a route array. And we can go ahead and add ours beneath the other view. So the demo view is already mapped to the empty route and to the demo path, but we can add ours here beneath it. So the path we want is other and the component we want is other view like this. For this to work, we need to import it. We can either do it asynchronously like this. So if we have a really large application, we might want to defer loading of some especially heavier views until a later point in time, in which case you want to use this pattern, or then you can import the view directly and have it included in the main bundle. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to go to other, other view like that. So we'll save that, save the routing configuration. We'll go to our demo view and then we'll add a link. So we'll add an anchor tag here, goes to other and then click, uh, let's see, go to another view like that. We get a link up here. We can click on it. We end up on the other view. We can browse back forward. And that's how we add new views to Vaadin. Now the router is a lot more powerful than I showed here. So you can do a lot of cool things like capture parameters and such. So I'll add a link to the router documentation where you can dive deeper into all the different functionalities that we have in the router. All right, so that concludes my series of videos on how Vaadin's TypeScript API works. In the next couple of videos, I wanna answer some of your questions that I've received in the comments below. And again, if you have any further questions, be sure to ask them and I'll, I'll answer those as well. And another thing I wanna do in a future video is compare Vaadin's TypeScript API with some of the other front-end frameworks out there like React and Angular, and also to JHipster, which is something that's a little similar to this where you have a Spring Boot backend and a front-end framework. So looking forward to doing those videos. Again, if you have questions, be sure to ask them below and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.